what is up you guys welcome back to the channel in today's video i'm going to be doing a mid ponytail using these deep wave bundles by eula hair everything the link to this hair will be in the description bar down below but i went ahead and i co-washed the hair and it is just super nice once it's wet i use some silicone mix to co-wash it and the curls are just super nice super soft super like defined i really really love this hair a lot and then i'm going to show you guys how it looks once it's dried i let it air dried and again it's still soft super full and let's get into the tutorial so i'm starting off by blow drying out her hair straight um for the best results you want to make sure that you blow out the hair straight now if you've watched my previous ponytail videos i never used to do this step but i noticed a big difference even like when you straighten the hair when it's blown out straight so this is something new that i do and then i'm just going to section the hair and i'm going to use my maury's beeswax only on the scalp you do not need to use beeswax on the entire hair that's just too much the scalp is enough and then i'm going to straighten it out just like so and then i'm going to take my nb beauty hot comb and press it out again some more because you want it to give fresh relaxer you want her hair to slick so nicely in that ponytail that it looks like she just got her hair perm that's the goal And here is the before and after you guys look how nice and shiny her hair is looking already compared to before all right you guys so this tutorial is a little bit different from what you guys are used to because i usually do low ponytails i don't think i've done a high ponytail on my channel before i could be wrong but anyways what i do is i part the hair like the middle part into a circle and this is just going to guide me. So I'm going to put that part into a little ponytail. That's just going to be here for now. That's like my base. That's my guideline. I'm going to part the hair in two parts. So I'm going to um, section off the top part and then the bottom half. So I'm going to mold the back first and then I'm going to mold. You guys you guys will see as you're watching the, tutor the tutorial because I can show you better than I can tell you um see so yeah, i just use some free spray and i'm just um blow drying the hair in place like i said this is just a guide to guide me um once i'm done that i'm going to um section the back um in three parts so i'm gonna work on the middle like, you guys can kind of see what I'm doing. Sorry, I'm horrible at explaining stuff, but y'all can see what I'm doing. So, I'm molding the hair to bring it up to the middle part. So, this is why I did the little ponytail in the middle because it's easier for me to... Remember, her hair is natural. So, natural hair is a little bit harder to work with than if she had a fresh relaxer, then I would just be able to just put everything up in one. But because her hair is natural, I have to work in small sections to get it slick and smooth as possible. So, like I said, I'm working in sections and I'm just going to use my free spray. And then I'm using a small tooth comb to push the product through and then i'm going to blow dry it in place so with every section that i do i'm bringing it to meet the ponytail that i did in the middle if that makes any sense 
I'm going to let you guys just pretty much watch what's going on right now. So for the back, I'm going to go in with the Ebon Adhesive Spray in the black bottle. I believe the black bottle is the strongest one. It is so, 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 so strong, you guys. So that's why I didn't use it all over her hair. I used the um, Got To Be Free Spray. But just for around the back, I want to make sure that, you know, the back always gets messy first. And I want to make sure that part is... Let me tell you guys... Her hair was like rock solid at the back. Like, I promise you, you use this spray, it's not going anywhere. But I don't think it's necessary to use it all over. Just, you know, around the hairline is fine. Well, now that I slicked the back to meet the ponytail that I did in the middle, I'm going to take the rubber band out and put everything all together. But I'm not going to make it too tight because this is just for now. This is just for now. So once I do that, I'm going to then do the same thing that I did at the back to the front. So I'm going to section the front in three parts and then I'm going to comb it down to meet the ponytail. Once I do that, I'm going to take my Got To Be Free spray and I'm going to spray that area and then I'm going to um use my edge brush this is an edge brush and slick it down and then blow dry it in place And for the last section, again, I'm going to go in with my Ebon Adhesive Spray in the black bottle. And I'm just slicking it up. So I just really just use the adhesive spray around the hairline. Again, it's too harsh, like way too harsh to use it for the whole head. It's really not necessary. So once everything is slicked, I'm going to take that rubber band out that was in the middle and I'm using a scrunchie or a hair tie to just tie everything all together, you guys. And that is how I do the mid ponytail or a high ponytail. And then I'm using sheen spray just for shine. And then I'm going to tie it down and then I'm going to work on the ponytail. So I'm just going to braid her hair 
just like so and then once i do that i'm going to take a rubber band and um I'm going to fold the hair, take a rubber band, tie the ant, and then I'm going to take the tissue. Y'all, just watch what I'm doing. Like, this is pretty much self-explanatory right now. So now I'm going to work on her baby hairs. This is my favorite part, you guys. So I'm going to take this mini flat iron and I'm just curling her sideburns upward. And then I'm going to use um, an edge brush before I add any product to kind of just mold the baby hair in the direction that I want it to lay. And then I'm going to use the... Um, adhesive spray just a little bit to keep it in place um i don't want to use any gel or edge control because i don't want the hair like i said her hair is natural so i don't want her hair to end up going back to its natural state by adding gel or sometimes even edge control i don't know let me know if you guys know any really good edge controls because sometimes even after a while with the edge control it they, if your hair is natural it curls back up but with the spray it really keeps it oh look at that oh my god perfection you guys you guys let's get into it beautiful so you guys the link to this hair will be in the description bar down below this is some really good hair um you can use a code all that's going to be in the description bar down below for some money off you guys like, comment, subscribe. See you guys in the next one.